Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to this lecture. And in this lecture, I will be showing you how to add the EVNG in your VMware workstation using the ISO file. Now, I, would, I have already um, uploaded a video which shows how to do this using an OVF file. But due to the reason that recently the EVNG website has removed the option to download the OVF file. Uh, and only the ISO file download options are available. So many of the students have um, requested me to uh, make a video or a lecture on how to do this using the ISO file. Now, uh, simply you have to download the ISO file first of all, and you should have the VMware Workstation run uh, installed on your system, right? So I have the VMware Workstation Pro on my system, and I have an EVNG, but we will not touch this. We will um, add a new EVNG using the uh, ISO file. So uh, first of all, you need to download the ISO file using any of the uh, options here, either the mega or the other link, which is sync. Uh, now, whatever you choose, once you have the ISO downloaded, like I have this one, so this is in my, uh, if I go, yeah, so I have this one so let's close it now once you have this downloaded then we are ready to go now go to your evng here home you can just say create a new virtual machine you can just uh, go with the typical one next install a disk install an image okay you can go to install the image browse for the iso file which was in the downloads this one and let's go and hit next okay now full name so i'll say evng like this evng zb zb username password you can keep um uh, i mean the default let's say root password is eve confirm the password okay small letter uh, okay saying um let's say admin yeah and let's say the name eve ng Z B N. Next. Now here you specify the um, size of the hard disk. This is basically a thin provision one, so you can specify anything. I'll say let's say, and it gigs doesn't matter. Now here you should keep um, virtual disk in into multiple. I I prefer that you can keep in a single disk as well, but let's. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, this option will basically split the disk matters. Makes and uh, it it it. Be easier to move the virtual disk to another company com computer later on right so i would suggest you to keep the split virtual disk into multiple uh, options um uh, selected and hit next now here it will show you a little bit of uh, hardware that you have you are using you can customize it here or later on also you can do it let's keep it on 16 gigs or maybe 8 gb this one and then processor number process how many you want to use i will say i want to use two uh, uh, i would say i want to use two processors and remember to keep this uh, virtualization open now for this i will choose bridged and that's it close and finish that's all go to this play and run now okay Okay, nice. This is starting now. Uh, once this is started, um, you should be asked for the initial uh, setup, right? So we'll see how does it go around. It's just install like installing this on a bare metal server. If you do this, you will basically burn this ISO on a uh, on a CD drive or a USB pen drive, and then plug it into your uh, server, and then basically follow the same uh steps so yeah so it is asking for the language let's say um english and enter and let's say please select your keyboard layout say done and it is asking for the uh uh continue with network okay okay so i we are getting an ip address from the bridge network so we got a ip address of 192.168.1.167 which means the uh basically what do you say the dhcp is is configured so let's say done done proxy we don't need done um selecting continue will uh, below will begin the installation okay 
so we'll say continue and the installation starts Okay, as you can see that the EVNG has now installed um, and it has booted with the IP address of 192.168.1.167. If you want, you can go and uh, access the uh, GUI from here 192.168.1.167 was, I think, the IP. Yeah, admin and key will be the user default uh, password. And then, yeah, you can just create a new lab start working on the uh, I mean even after after adding the images you can start working on the projects right now here the default is root and EVE which is the default username password once you do the first login it will again ask you for the setup if you want to do a static IP right if you don't want you can just keep it as is um, on the DHCP but let's say you want then just uh, hit the down arrow key and the space bar. Once this is on the static, the static sign, say hit on OK, and then it will ask you to enter the IP that you would like to set on this, right? One dot, let's say I'll keep the same 67. Okay, and then the mask it will ask. So, based on your networking, put the mask and also the default gateway and uh, DNS. Primary and secondary and NTP, I will keep my default gateway and then hit on the direct connection, hit OK. Now that is the total um, setup of your EVNG. Now, once it reboots, it will uh, retain the uh, static IP address now of the 192.168.1.67. Now it is rebooting after the IP. Okay, it took uh, okay. So 67 is the IP now. New one, okay. So if I go here, 
say 192, 168, 1.67. This should work. Admin and admin and password is the default one. Okay, so this is how you install the EVNG on your VMware workstation using the ISO file. Now, uh, it will take some time based on the resources that you have on your end. For example, the CPU that you have, the, the processor generation that you have basically and the number of uh, amount of RAM that you have. So, I hope uh, you like the lecture and I will see you in the next lecture. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.